Welcome back to another Workout Wednesday. For this session, we are going to be learning a running in place sequence. So to start, we're gonna learn some good warm up form, then the next part will be butt kicks, and then we're gonna move on to high knees. So, for our warm up, we are going to run in place. But it's really important to make sure your arms are engaged as well. So, your arms will be at a 90 degree angle at the elbows, and you are going to pump your arms with your fist going from your heart to your hip and rotating back and forth. And then, as you run in place for that warm up, you're going to really want to focus on. Um, gentle steps with um, your ankles being the most mobile part. Do this warm up for about two minutes. Next, we're gonna learn those butt kicks. So, just like the name says, you are going to be kicking your bottom. So driving your heel to your bottom and you're gonna stay in place and keep on your toes. Starting off slowly is fine, but make it a goal to increase your cadence or those repetitions per minute as you progress and get better at this workout sequence. Do that for about one minute. The next exercise in the sequence is high knees. This is by far the most challenging in the sequence. It's going to really get your heart rate up. So for this one, again, you're landing on your toes, you're keeping that good run arm form, and you're going to drive your knees up towards your chest, keeping your thigh parallel with the ground. Again, starting off slowly is fine, but for this one, you do want to work towards that high cadence again. Now because this one's so challenging, I recommend doing it until you feel like you have to stop and then counting for 10 more seconds just to push yourself a little bit further. Give yourself 30 to 60 seconds recovery between repeating the butt kicks and those high knees, or you can jog in place as an active recovery. Thank you for tuning in for this Workout Wednesday. Don't forget to like this video, follow Live Red on Instagram and on Facebook, and then in the comments below, tell us what you think of this workout.